because it's not on fire and it sounds really good. Power! It's amazing how much better it works when you have gasoline. So we are going to be working on the exhaust for the Datsun. Currently it's just an open down pipe and talking to a lot of people, I believe that's the reason we're having our wideband reading problems. So we're going to build out the rest of the exhaust, at least up to the resonator. And the first thing we need to do is be able to get the Datsun off the ground, that way I can get under it more easily. But the jack stands weren't really high enough, so I ended up making these over the past couple of days, just nice and slow. And those are wheel stands. So we're going to start by putting those under the car, and then we'll talk more about how, what we're going to do with this, and with this, and with all of this, and trying to finish out in a job. All right, we have the car up on the stands and it is very roomy. I'm very excited about that. So before we start messing with any of the exhaust piping, this is what we are gonna be using. I've got three inch diameter, four inch high flex pipe from Vibrant. Uh, that way it'll, you know, exhaust can rattle, won't crack turbo housing or any of those other crazy horror stories that you hear about. We've got a Vibrant ultra quiet resonator. Uh, currently don't have a muffler, but we'll get to that eventually. And then I got these parts here and a tube of stainless from Ace Race. Uh, it came really quickly, a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. If you didn't already know, we're doing the entire exhaust out of stainless. Why? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. It's Texas. Definitely could have done mild steel and made my life a lot easier. However, here we are. Oh Lord, what is that? Maybe it's a lift. Maybe Ben Pack sponsored me for no reason. You can't even fit a lift in here. Well, I guess we could... You know what I'm thinking. So we've got some stainless steel exhaust hangers. Uh, just bend these to shape. I don't have a torch, so we'll see how that goes. Little rubber exhaust hangers. Um, I only picked up one flange for now. Also see why here in a little bit, but these things are beefy. They are very thick. Two flanges, one for each side, and then a gasket, as well as a long 45. I, didn't, I wanted it to flow better, and we have plenty of space underneath, I think. So if we need to create a couple pie cuts, we've done it before, so it's not that big of a deal. And let's look at what we have on the downpipe side. So this is currently our downpipe, also made out of stainless, but we need to adjust this thing, make sure our wide band isn't gonna knock into our trans over there. Just kind of shift it over a little bit, which is the way it was designed anyway, and hopefully give a little more room for eventually when we build this out to dump into our downpipe. It's all gonna be one piece. So we're gonna adjust this guy how we want it, then we're gonna get underneath the car and look at what we have there. One thing that is amazing is every time you pick up your car, you find something new like that rust spot and the fact that I'm dripping a little bit of gear oil on the ground, it's just like, oh good, more problems. And I'm sure that won't get hung up on anything, ever. So currently here's where our downpipe comes out. It comes just before the frame rail. And as you can see here, I left it a little long before I started my curve to avoid our section here of the floor pan. The idea is to take our 45 and kind of boop, weld that guy on here. This would have been super nice to work on the car like this a long time ago. The idea is we're gonna take the exhaust. So 45 out of this guy. Uh, I haven't decided if I wanna run him up here, but that's a lot of bends. Uh, but the car is pretty low, and I'd like to keep the exhaust as high as possible. Then, once we get past it, this little blank area here between the trans, where it's elevated a little bit up next to the drive shaft, this is where our resonator is going to go. Then eventually it'll come out here, kind of work out. Try to avoid the fuel cell as much as possible, and then out the back. Well, as you can see, the transmission out mount is out of the car and all locked up, and there's a reason for this because the exhaust was hanging way too low when I mocked it up on the car. This is where we're at. So I've made a couple of marks. I think what we're going to do is something along the lines of this here, which is leaving the original part open. I am going to take a little sliver off here just for ease of access. And then we're going to build basically up and then down here. Nothing left to it but to do it. So let's just hop into a giant cutting and welding and more cutting and welding. And this is going to be what today is, so get it going.
right, so it is much later in the day, and we've got the trans mount done. It's painted, it's strong, and it's bolted back in. Uh, the next piece that we're doing is we are going to attach the flex pipe to this first part of the down pipe. So get to chop the down pipe. It is what it is. Um, and then off of that, we also have our 90 degree bend here. And boom, we have the down pipe. We're gonna take the wide band off and get to cutting and mocking up. So we're gonna weld it up about right there. Uh, that gives it about four inches to the wide band bung, which is what I've heard is the necessary amount. These flex pipe pieces are really cool. They move quite a bit, as you can see, without letting any, any of the exhaust out because of the outer shell that's around here. However, it does when you're cutting your exhaust the length, it does slip in here so that it's easier to weld. It just slips in and you just weld a bead around it, a bead. This one in particular, which is a vibrant one, goes in about three quarters of an inch on each side. So I'll take my little mark, go in three quarters of an inch, and that's where I need to cut my down pipe. I think that turned out pretty good. Cut my down pipe right in half. You know what I should do is just kind of like put it right out the top. No wide band, no problems. And it fits in there just like that. And then boom! Maybe I'll have this sticking out the hood. Oh wait, wait. We do, we'll have our AFR. Don't you worry. Set it up. Boom! Just like this. Right out the top. Well, I was finally getting a hold of my TIG weld and I ran out of gas. So I have to go get more gas on Monday. It's currently Saturday. Everywhere is closed and no one's open tomorrow. So I'm sure we'll find something else to do on the car. I've got plenty of stuff I can make on this car. So maybe I'll just leave everything an absolute disaster until then. But what I was able to do is tack the top to the flex pipe and I fully welded out the bottom of the flex pipe. Did end up going to pick up some more TIG gas and I've got the down pipe completely welded. I'll pull that out and show you. I also went and mocked up the 90 degree bend at the bottom and cut it to length and everything's just placed on there. It's not tack welded yet, but. All right, so we have our 45 degree bend and our flanges that are just sat on there. Our pipe here, it goes back into nothingness. Now here at the end, we've, I've decided to put my resonator here, just underneath the drive shaft before the differential. Yeah, it's basically the only place it's going to fit. We're going to go ahead and get this tacked up. It is sitting a little low, as you can see, but it's actually going to end up, once it's fully welded out, it'll be come up here about a quarter to a half an inch up. And then back here, we're actually going to angle this guy another half inch up, so it'll be more up here. All right, so the entire downpipe is finally welded up. Some of these welds came out really good. Some of them came out, yeah, there's a little area to fill. All right, so I've got basically the downpipe back done. The only thing I have left to do that I've already marked out is tack on our resonator. So let's just do that. Boom. Hopefully that was a good transition. So we've got it tacked on there. One last test fit on the car. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she'll be ready to fully weld up and we can hear what she sounds like. All right, so I just finished welding it all up and honestly, I think the welds turned out a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. Some of these turned out really good. Uh, worked on the fitment, worked on my welding. These down here were a little more difficult. I just finished them up, so I'm not gonna touch it. But it's all welded up, it's all sealed. There's no holes that I know of. And next thing we're gonna do is start on the car. I'll give you a cold start with no exhaust and cold start with the new half exhaust. Very exciting. Well, 
Six spark plugs. Check uh, fuel injectors. All that good stuff. <sighs> Out of gas. Let's do it again. how much better it works when you have gasoline. Good news, it's not on fire and it sounds really good. Pally! Oh yes, it sounds so good. You know when it's gonna sound even better? With a muffler and a good tune. Because it is smoky as hell out there. For you, those who don't know, my truck is not white. Yeah, it's just a resonator right now. Is that ultra quiet? Ultra quiet? Ultra quiet, but So quiet. <laughs> it was so quiet. I don't know what you're talking about. We could talk to each other during this. All right, so that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. So uh, I'll button up with the hangers and whatnot later. And definitely going to get a muffler eventually because I like quiet cars. And I want to be able to hear the turbo. But that's going to do it for this. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.